such a cool hippie town, right? And my parents were hippies. They were like astro hippies, like new age hippies. They were so strange. Um, and they, um, they really believed that, uh, that all human matter came from outer space. We were like star particles or space particles astrological or astronomical fungus or whatever that had landed on this planet. My parents believed this. They had this book that was called Are You Star People? Am I Star People? <laughs> Do you ever feel alone, homeless, stra estranged? Do you ever look into the stars and feel like you don't belong here? This was the text on the back of the book. <laughs> you might be a star person. Which means you come from astronomical fungus, cosmic ether, whatever, that landed here. And then you've inhabited biological matter. But at your essence, you're just a mushroom. <laughs> <laughs> parents really believed in that. They also um, were followers of Edgar Cayce, who was this kind of bizarre American psychic. Um, and a uh, soothsayer. He was called the sleeping prophet. You would uh, go into a trance and he would uh, read your mind and, and also um, tell you about your past lives. Uh, he was like sleep talking the whole time. He would talk to you about you know, how you were formerly the, the king of Egypt or Queen Victoria or something. And my uh, parents would go visit these these psychics and get their past lives read. And they also believed that, that the pets that we had had past lives. And we had a lot of pets. My parents were animal lovers. And they would adopt any, any um, disabled, downtrodden, abandoned, lonely animal from the Humane Society and bring him home. And there were so many animals. <laughs> We had a two-legged rabbit, just his front two legs. <laughs> um, we had a one-legged ostrich, but we had a ladder, we'd prop it up on a ladder. <laughs> and we had an albino snake that was agoraphobic. All the animals had problems, psychological problems. With the cat with the little eye patch. And uh, parents would take these animals in to get read by the psychic so they could find out about their past lives. <laughs> and then they would name the animals based on their, who they were in their past lives. So we had this little puffy, bitchy Pomeranian, little lap dog named Gandhi. <laughs> We had a little tiny salamander. Um, this tiny little salamander that I wanted to name Betty. It reminded me of Betty Davis' lips. <laughs> Lipstick. But my uh, parents went and got the salamander's past life read. <laughs> and it was... God, I can't remember this one now. What was the past life of the salamander? Did I tell this one before? <laughs> it wasn't Cleopatra. That was the Siamese cat. <laughs> Princess Victoria? No, it wasn't Princess Victoria. It wasn't Babe Ruth. <laughs> oh, shit. They had a whole like notebook and they would put down all the names and tell the stories of the past lives. It's a little red salamander whose name was I remember now. This from the Battle of Waterloo. <laughs> it was Napoleon. <laughs> How do you forget Napoleon? show banter ever, sorry. <laughs>
Thank you.